anyway, I'm really passionate about or adamant about because it's a pet peeve of mine every time I post a picture and someone says, how long did that cook? How long did you smoke that brisket for? My camera reply is I smoked it until it was done. Hey, yo, this is Dash. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yo, this is Dash, and this is a little bit of a series that I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, the most frequently asked questions I get. This is the next most frequently asked question that I get, and it is, how long did that take? I can say it until I'm blue in the face. I do not cook for time. I cook to internal temperature. Now, here's the thing. Each specific meat that you're going to cook is going to have a different internal temperature that you're going to shoot, going to want to shoot for. I'm not going to tell you what internal temperature I cook for because that's my secret. But I can tell you that any, almost any and everyone else that's putting videos out there barbecue related will tell you exactly what temperature they cook their food to or what temperature window you should aim for. With that being said, you're going to want to purchase a decent meat thermometer. Now, I always recommend I have long range wireless thermometers because my house is far away from my garages, which is where I actually do my cooking. In order for me to be able to monitor my smoker temperatures and my meat temperatures at a distance, I use a long range wireless thermometer. That long range wireless thermometer can actually be found down in the description where I have some of my favorite barbecue toys and tools uh, down below that you can purchase off of Amazon. With that being said, the reason why I do not recommend you cook to, to a specific time is because of this. When you're cooking in an oven, you have a precise temperature control. So your temperature is going to be like this the entire time you cook, which means that as long as you get your temperature right to this point and it's right there, as long as it's leveled out and you're at the same temperature, if you put something in there that's the same size every single time, it's going to take about the same amount of time. So I can give you a timestamp. Now, when you're cooking on your smoker, your smoker temperatures are going to do this. There is no smoker out there that will remain at the same temperature for longer than maybe an hour, maybe two. Now, if you tell me, oh, well, I can dial my smoker in at a specific temperature, here's the thing. Your temperature is going to be like this, and either it's going to be like this, and it's going to creep up slowly, or it's going to be like this, where it'll come up, and it'll drop down slowly, okay? One or two degrees an hour makes a difference, because that's not the same exact temperature. When you have a fire and your fire is raging and your heat is higher than something that you've cooked a time or two before will take less time to cook. On the converse of that, if you have something and your temperature is slightly going down, it's gonna take longer to cook. It's basic. People think or everyone thinks that you can say a specific time, oh, I cooked my brisket for 18 hours. First and foremost, if you're cooking a brisket for longer than 10 hours you're cooking it too long in my opinion you might have a different methodology but i tell you what as soon as your brisket takes as much smoke as it's going to take you kick the heat up period that's how i do it no one will be none the wiser if i let a brisket sit in the smoker for 18 hours at 200 degrees versus me starting my smoker at 250 degrees or aiming for 250 degrees after my smoker, after my brisket hits or gets the amount of smoke that I wanna get and I bump it up to 300 degrees. No one's gonna be none the wiser. Guess what? It'll reduce your cook time by a third. Pro tip, take it to the bank, you try it out, tell me if it worked for you. Anyway. I'm really passionate about or adamant about because it's a pet peeve of mine. Every time I post a picture and someone says, how long did that cook? How long did you smoke that brisket for? My camera reply is I smoked it until it was done. Uh. 
I don't keep track on how long it takes for me to cook different things. The reason being is because there are times when, let's say I fall asleep. Let's say I'm able to actually tend to the fire and I get it done, boom, 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 like, like clockwork, okay? Those are two different extremes, but I've done both. I've put food into the smoker and I've come back into the house and I've fallen asleep and my fire has gone almost completely out and then I'm more or less starting almost all over again. So with that being said, you cannot put a time on how long barbecue is, a barbecue is gonna take. Barbecue is done when it's done. Your pork shoulders are gonna take longer than your, you know, than your, than your chicken wings are gonna take. Your baby back ribs are gonna take longer than some salmon is gonna take, yes. But do I know exactly how long in hours and, and minutes that's gonna take? No. I cook to internal temperature. I cook to internal temperature for fish. I cook to internal temperature for wings. I cook to internal temperature and fuel for ribs, pork shoulder, brisket. The internal temperature is gonna get you in the ballpark and then you have to make a decision whether or not you have your probe in far enough. Whether your probe is, is, is too close to the outside of your meat. Then you have to actually look and feel your meat. I don't always talk about that aspect of it, but that is the you know the other thing, the other piece that some people get and some people don't. If you temp your food in the wrong place, it could still be undercooked. Like if it's a whole turkey, or if it's a whole chicken, or if it's chicken thighs, or chicken legs, okay? If you probe it in the wrong place, you're gonna get a false reading, and that false reading could be detrimental. So be careful, don't use the temperature as a hard and fast rule only. It is temperature and feel. Look and feel, better, better said. Temperature, look and feel, then you'll know when your barbecue is done. And then obviously, the best methodology of knowing if something is done is for you to, to taste it. Cut it open and taste it. If it tastes fine, if it tastes fine, if it looks done enough, if it looks looks good, then that then it's done. All right. Not to internal, not to time. Always the internal temperature. One of the other things about cooking to internal temperature, if you start cooking to internal temperature, you will increase your consistency a thousand fold, a thousand fold. Because if you take something to the same temperature every single time you cook it, it'll be better. Because that's how you like it. If you like your brisket up to, now again, most common wisdom will tell you that you don't take your brisket past, or you your briskets are gonna be done, and this is a caveat. Asterisk, when cooking low and slow, your brisket's gonna be done between 200 degrees and 205 degrees. I actually heard someone recently talk about the fact that he can cook a brisket in four hours, a whole brisket, shut up cat, a whole brisket in four hours. I've never done that. I'm not gonna say it can't be done, but at the same time, he said he also takes his brisket up to 220 degrees or 220 plus degrees when he's cooking it hot and fast. I cringed when I heard that, but that's how he says he does his brisket. I'm telling you how I do my brisket. Both methods might actually work. Me cooking mine lower and slower, that's just the way I get it done. If you have any questions more about this specific topic, please feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like what you saw today, if you learned something, please leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And uh, thank you as always for watching. I'll see you next time.